Hi, it's Jo Martin here, founder of One of Many. And my question today is, do we need more women in power? Of course we do at a fundamental level. But what I want to look at is why and what is the impact of that? And is it actually more women or is it something else? So the first thing to say is, absolutely, there is so much research which shows us that when we have more women, actual numbers of women in leadership positions, whether it be in parliament, governments, or in businesses, those organizations, whatever they are, do better and, to my mind, make smarter decisions. That is, of course, a matter of opinion, but let me share some of those things with you. So, for instance, in a government story, in India, when we see, a, we've seen a huge uh, shift in the number of women in local um, panchayat councils, which has had a direct impact on reducing corruption in local government. We also see in governments, if there are more women in parliamentary positions, there is usually a higher spend on education as a percentage of GDP, which I think is a great thing, but that's my matter of opinion. There is a lot of research that shows that in companies where there are more than three women directors, those companies are 50% more profitable than those without. In organizations where we see more women on boards, they produce a 35% higher return on equity and a 34% higher return to shareholders than those that don't. And interestingly, and I love this one, not that GDP, for my money, is the be-all and end-all in terms of measuring how well a country's doing, but even if we just look at that piece, if each country in the world just matched the progress towards gender parity and leadership of its, its uh, most progressive neighbor. So we're not talking about achieving parity or anything like that, but if a country looked in its immediate neighbors and saw who's the most progressive and let's just achieve the same thing there, that would add $12 trillion to the global economy. If we have more women in leadership, it's good for business, it's good for education, it's good for humanity. So yes, at a very fundamental level, having more women in leadership is good. And I think it's not necessarily because of a gender thing that the woman brings. I think it's the style of leadership which opens up when there are more women at the table. What opens up is more what I would call feminine qualities, and whether you call them feminine qualities or not is, is actually irrelevant to the conversation, but we see more compassion, we see more empathy, we see more community-mindedness, collaboration, less focus on winning and competition when there's more women seated at the table. And men can embody those qualities just as much as women. But all of the research shows that the path to getting both more men and women embedding and embodying these leadership qualities that we need for the kind of leadership the world is requiring right now, the key stepping stone for getting more of those values around any given leadership table is to start by putting more women at the table. We can then start to alter that balance and things can shift. Now, if a woman sits at the table, but she's just as driven by individualism, achievement, win, you know, uh, winning and, and um, you know, material success, she's not going to be the gateway for the kind of shift in leadership that's required. So this is less a gender issue and more a values issue. And all of the research shows that if we have more women at the table, the value shift can happen. So what do you think? Is it more women we need? Is it more femininity in all of our leaders? What do you see is the recipe for shifting some of these fundamental challenges that we're seeing out there in governments and corporations at the moment? I'm really interested in your comments, so please do share with me. Share this video if you would like to. And then if you'd like to hear more from us, just hit like and we'd love to be in touch.